in today's video I'm showing you how to attach sequence to yarn and this is a commercial type of yarn rather than the sequence that I've spun up before on my spinning wheel and all you need to do is thread your needle and I have it double threaded and then I'm just stitching in to the yarn and we're pulling it tight and I'm going to secure it by trying to loop it around and stitch it and then I've already done a couple sequins before I had to move my camera so that I can show this off a little better and then you just work basically repeatedly stitching your yarn your thread through the yarn I'm sorry if I sound terrible it's because I got a head cold and outside the bugs are literally the cicadas are screaming but anyway you're just stitching your yarn your thread into the yarn I cannot talk guys but you do that repeatedly and then when you stitch it far enough down that you're ready to add another sequence you will just thread the sequence onto your needle like so pull it through now this pot type of metallic thread is kind of giving me issues because it's not like regular thread but you stitch it through the back so that it loops around the sequence yeah you can it, it's the metallic yarn that's doing this to me if you use your regular thread that actually say matches you can blend it more seamlessly but I'm choosing to use the sparkly metallic because I have quite a bit of it and I like that effect for this particular yarn so as I fight with my thread eventually you get it all pulled through and then I kind of just stitch through the yarn and lock it into place like such and then you just keep on going until you run out of your thread and then you get some more thread and uh, with that hi my name is Sarah I've been gone for quite a minute now but I do make yarn videos and I'm feeling more in the crafty spirit nowadays again so with that said Go make stuff sparkle and have a great rest of your day. Take care.